Hello, brave readers. Welcome to our reading circle. The story that we'll read today is called "Ferocious Wild Beasts" by Chris Warmel. When you think of this title, what comes to mind? What would a ferocious wild beast look like to you? Please keep this in mind as we read the story together. A bear was strolling in the forest one day when he met a small boy, sitting on a tree stump, looking rather sad. What's the matter? asked the bear. I'm lost, sniffed the boy, and I'm in terrible trouble. Dear me, why's that? inquired the bear. Because my mom said I must never go into the forest, replied the boy. But I did, and now I'm lost. Don't worry," said the bear with a laugh. "I'll soon show you the way out. The forest isn't so bad, you know." "It is," declared the boy. "My mom says the forest is full of ferocious wild beasts." "Really?" said the bear. "Is it? What are they like?" They're all hairy," replied the boy, "and they hide in the shadows, and then they pounce on you and gobble you up." "Do they, uh, do they gobble up bears too?" asked the bear nervously. "Of course," replied the boy. "They gobble up everything." The bear peered fearfully into the shadows between the trees. I think we'd better go," he said. They had not gone far when they met an elephant having a snack. "Would anyone like a banana?" asked the elephant. "You'd better watch out, elephant," advised the bear. "This young man tells me there are ferocious wild beasts on the loose." <gasps> Oh dear," said the elephant, dropping his banana. "Are they very wild?" "The wildest beasts ever," said the boy. "They're so big they could step on you and squish you just like that." "But uh, they couldn't squish an elephant." Could they? Asked the elephant. Easily, replied the boy. Oh, crumbs! Gulped the elephant. Y- you don't mind if I tag along with you, do you? And soon, all three were creeping through the forest. Before long. They met a lion sunbathing on a rock. "Sit down and enjoy the sun," said the lion with a flick of his tail. "Not likely," replied the bear. "Don't you know there are ferocious wild beasts about?" "Are there?" gulped the lion. "How ferocious?" The most ferocious type of all," declared the boy. "And they have sharp claws and big teeth and can bite your head off in a second." "Yikes!" yelped the lion. "But they couldn't do that to a lion, could they?" "I think they like eating lions the best," replied the boy. "Oh, help!" whimpered the lion, his mane standing on end. You wouldn't mind if I came along with you, would you? So off 
They went, tiptoeing through the forest, and soon they met a crocodile and a wolf and a python. Now the sun was sinking. The night time is when the ferocious wild beasts come out to hunt," said the boy. Just then, they heard a sound, like the sound of a terrible beast stomping through the undergrowth. Then they saw a light. Flickering through the tree trunks like a great glowing eye, and then they heard a wild roar echoing through the forest. And they all ran for their lives, well, except for the small boy, who was the bravest. He crept forward. And saw that it wasn't a ferocious wild beast at all; it was something much worse. It was a ferocious wild mom. Jack, Jack! She roared. Where are you, you naughty boy? There you are. She sighed. Didn't I tell you never to go into the forest? Didn't I tell you about all the ferocious wild beasts? But mom, Jack protested, I didn't see any ferocious wild beasts. The end. In your opinion. Do you think Jack met any ferocious wild beasts in the forest? If you were to create your own ferocious wild beast, what would it look like? What kind of body parts would it have? Let's take a minute to think about it, then pair up with someone close to you and share your thoughts. Thank you for hanging out with us, and we'll catch you later at our next reading circle. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you.